Hello everybody, welcome to Ambitious Mondays. This has been the fastest summer I think ever for me. I just wanted to hop in here because I know so many of you girls have been reaching out to me saying, listen, I have all these great ideas. I have all these courses under my belt. I've done a lot of coaching programs. I know how to do the stuff, but I'm literally watching myself not doing it. And so what happens is we tend to default back into, I just need to learn a little bit more. I just need to get one more piece of the puzzle and then I'll be successful. But the reality is, is that it's mostly just up here that's getting us stuck. It's not because we aren't capable. It's not because we don't know what to do. I mean, sometimes it helps to get a little bit of clarity, but other times it's just really important to take the action and move forward. So if you're joining me right now, please say hello. I would love to see who's here. And if you're catching the replay, type in hashtag replay below. I'd like to say hello to you as well. But I wanna know what is it that holds you back the most these days, especially around executing on a business plan. So I could sit here and I could put up a big board behind me and if that's helpful for you guys, please drop that in the comments below and just be like, I'm stuck on a marketing calendar or I'm stuck on a content plan or I'm stuck on my messaging or I'm stuck on my ideal client or I'm stuck on confidence to know that I can actually do something for someone else, right? Because I think that we all have those different pieces of the puzzle that we definitely need. But if you're someone who's been at this for a little while already, then chances are you already know all those pieces of the puzzle, but you're still watching yourself break promises, what you said you were gonna do, and you're like, man, I said I was gonna email my list three times this week, or I said I was gonna put out four different posts on social media and I didn't do it, and you're consistently watching yourself not executing on that, then we need to start digging into why that's happening, which is usually a mindset issue. And in business, especially online business, mindset is going to be 90% of your business. It is the thing that holds the most people back. Most of us are very smart. We know we can do it. We know we're capable of it. That's why we're entrepreneurs. You wouldn't sign up to do an online business if you thought there was no, no chance that you, you could succeed at it. Like you just wouldn't bother wasting your time. But then you catch yourself always holding back or self-sabotaging. And self-sabotage doesn't look the same for everyone and it can look differently for you often. So sometimes that's just avoiding the situation altogether. Sometimes that is making other things in your life be a priority. So like, oh, I can't possibly get to this. I have too much going on at home. Or, you know, it could be, <sighs> you feel like you have to fix yourself before you can take the next step. So like mindset wise, you're like, if only I could just figure out, I just need to learn how to meditate, I need to learn how to do this. Guys, journaling, meditation, a morning practice, a routine, that kind of stuff is a practice. It is not something that somebody wakes up and just figures out one day. That's not what happens. It's the decision can happen in a heartbeat. It's the decision to move forward and to work towards that thing that you want. And so for so many of us, we get caught up in this mindset of, I just need to learn a little bit more. And learning is really comfortable for most of us too. Like I love to learn. It is probably, if I could literally sit there and watch online videos with online coaches that I love four or five hours a day, I would do it every day. I love to consume that type of information. But the problem is, is that if you're in that mode too, and you're trying to build a business, that's avoidance. So literally that three hours, let's say, that you spent this morning where you should have been creating content, putting together a plan for how you can help other people, you chose instead to just start consuming more information. And all you're doing is regurgitating theory and not taking any action. And the thing is, is that two, three, four years down the road, if you're still in that pattern, then you won't have gone anywhere and you'll spend a ton of money and you won't be where you want to be at all. So what we need to do is figure out how to get you out of that headspace where you feel like you need to learn more, you need to learn more. Because this is not the same as going and getting a degree and then you sign up for a corporate job and they hand you 60 grand a year. If that's what you wanna do, then go do that, right? Most of us are here because we wanna work for ourselves. We want flexibility with our time because we're moms and we're busy and we have kids and we want that to be a priority for us. But then the problem also with that is that we're our own boss. And so it's easy for us to put off business things because we have our kids and because we'll say things like, well, that's the whole reason why I'm in online business is because I want the flexibility to be with my kids. And it's like, yes, but we still have to remember that the framework of your business still has to be there and moving forward, even while you wanna take the day off and go hang out with your kids at the splash park or whatever. So how do we do that? We execute on a marketing plan. You have to put out your marketing calendar for the year. It's okay to change it as you go if you need to, but you need to have a plan. 
Not a stuffy business plan like the one you got to take to the bank to open a loan. Not that kind of business plan. We need to get you into like, who are you? What do you want? Why do you want it? How can you help other people? What lights you up? Because if you figure out what lights you up, you're going to be able to move mountains with other people. Do you know what I mean? So it's so important for us to tap into what actually lights us up. Otherwise, we don't want to show up. So we need to have a marketing calendar. So that just basically means here's a couple things I want to, you know, launch this year or different events that are coming up, whatever. We need to put that on a calendar. And then we got to figure out a content plan which the easiest way to do that is to know your marketing calendar, know what you need to do to lead up to those events, and then kind of put a monthly theme in place or a monthly goal, whatever you want, and then figure out backwards again, what are you gonna talk about weekly? So then you have like a big video that goes out like this one on Monday morning or whatever. And then you can pull from that video and write out an email that you can send to your list and you can break it up into three different concepts. I know for a fact that when I talk on video, which is like my superpower, I love to be in person talking, I can pull out 50 different titles or topics out of my, anyone live because that's just my tendency. So, but if you're somebody that loves to write like written word, then go do a blog first. And if you want, you can break that into little videos that you can teach. Or if you, you know, if you do a video like this or a big long blog, then pull chunks of that out for your social media content that week. But if you have it all written out on a content plan and you know what your theme of the week is, then you can stop relying on whether you feel like it or not, or whether you put things off that week or not because of your life and your kids. And you can start to operate like a business so that you don't have to stay consistent. You put systems in place like schedulers that go out and do all of your consistency for you. All you gotta do is sit down and create the content, right? So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, I really feel like I've been on so many strategy calls lately and the majority of women that I'm talking to just need permission. They just need permission to go do the thing that they actually wanna do. That's one of the things that I help with my coaching the most is just releasing those blocks that start to build up and then getting you to go forward again, right? So getting super clear on what your overall content strategy is, getting you super clear on what your vision for your business is because vision and goals are very different things. And you can have big goals, but you will consistently not hit those goals if you don't have a bigger vision and then execution to actually start taking that messy action towards where you need to go. Nobody that's ever made seven figures online has ever said, oh, it was easy and I never made a mistake and I never launched anything that fell flat on its face. Like that's not real. We have to get into action. So please share with me if you've been watching this, if that's helpful, what's your number one takeaway? And also, What's one small step that you can take today to move yourself forward instead of defaulting back into learning mode all the time? You know what I'm saying? Don't go watch one more video. After this, take an action step and then post in the comments or DM me. I wanna know what that thing was and if this was helpful for you. And also, what would be the one thing that I could do a live on later this week? I'll do another one on Wednesday that would be most helpful for you. You can post them in the comments or DM me. I wanna know, is it your marketing calendar that you're struggling with? Is it your vision? Is it your niche? Is it your goals? Is it your fear of failure or fear of success or imposter syndrome? Or what is actually holding you back all the time when you're being real about why you're avoiding doing the work that you know you need to do? Because you're smart and you're capable and you know it. So why is it that you're holding back? Is it just a confidence issue? Then we need to go find evidence. So let me know what would be the most helpful and I'll do a video on here again on Wednesday and help out with that. Okay, guys, have a great day. Ambitious Mondays. Let's go. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Cheers.